Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Diamante. So welcome to my first week on Wagovi. I'm really excited for you guys to see how my first week went. There's a lot of footage where I do look like a thumb. It's because A, I work from home. I don't like really wear makeup during the week, especially because I go to the gym. So I apologize for that. I'm working on being able to like give you guys more content and like hopefully better content. I did like buy a tripod so that maybe I can like muster up the courage to bring it with me to the gym. If this is your first video though, I do recommend you watching my I'm starting with Ovi video so that way you guys can like get the full picture on my journey and then you guys can come back and watch this one. So yeah. Without further ado, let's go ahead and cue my measurements. I just know that this is probably the most vulnerable thing that I'm documenting online. Ugh, I'm really nervous. Okay, so first things first is I'm gonna get on the scale and then I'm gonna report back to you guys using the Renfo app, like all my stats, and I'll like screen record it so we can like watch it together. So let's see, trends and weight. So I did lose a pound. Actually, I gained a pound from the last time I weighed myself, which is fine. It is the middle of the day and I did eat already. I'm not saying that these things are related, but I'm just saying um, my BMI went up 0.1. My body fat went up 0.1. My body water went down 0.2. My skeletal muscle went down 0.2. My BMR has been consistent, which is 1485 as of right now. My fat-free body weight went down um, a pound. My subcutaneous fat went up 0.2 visceral fat went up one and then my muscle mass has been consistent bone mass is consistent protein is consistent and my metabolic age continues to be 34 which i did bring it down by one year which is really good so hopefully i'm able to continue bringing it down that's kind of what we're looking at as of right now for april 7th now Let's take some measurements. And I'll obviously like put all my starting measurements either somewhere on the screen or in my description. And the reason that I'm doing this is mainly because sometimes like, although you don't see the scale moving, like you'll see inches like decrease. So anyway, that's really the point of this for me. Okay, so as of right now, for bust, we're looking about 42 and a half, I would say. For waist, I would say for waist, we're looking at about 30, 38 and a half. And then for my butt slash hips, which is always the largest measurement and the more problems, we're looking at 52 and a half. And today's only the day one, so yeah, the good thing is is that I feel like I am, you know, having a better relationship with self, and it's important just to like love yourself in any size, and I feel like I'm so worthy of being seen and, you know, of that feeling that I've been chasing my whole life which is being comfortable in my own skin so those are the things that I'm really looking forward to and I do have like this little picture of me that like I always look at and so like I really try to remember like if I wouldn't feel comfortable saying it to that little person then I wouldn't feel comfortable saying it to myself and so those things have helped like improve the way that I see myself. But anyway, I'm doing this for her. <laughs> so it's really important for me to just keep that in mind and remember like, it's more than just the way that I look, it's a feeling. I'm looking forward to next week. I'm looking forward to like a month from now, a year from now, all those things. 
and I'm really excited. And really quick, I did want to talk about this because I did see some comments about this on my last video. So I think I might put this at the beginning of my video. I don't know. But I did want to talk about my process for getting the Wigovi medication. So long story short, what I did was I obviously like I went and I got my labs. I discussed potentially getting on GLP-1 medication with my physician. I then went back and I called my insurance provider to see what medications would be covered for weight loss that were GLP-1s. They gave me the options on which medications were covered. I obviously did a ton of research. I read white papers, I looked at articles, I obviously looked at TikTok, tons and tons of Google searches. And then the next thing that I did was I actually like went back and I made an appointment with my physician. She was, or like, I guess not was, but she's offering a weight loss program through her practice. And so she said that like the first one would be free. So that's actually like why I wound up going back to her for, I guess like my consultation about weight loss, even though we had already discussed it. So she looked at my labs, she looked at my BMI, she said I was a great candidate for GLP-1s. So from there, I told her like, these are the ones that I would like to potentially try. I'm leaning more towards Wigovi just based off of the research that I've done. Another thing that I didn't like, and obviously like every place is different, right? but my doctor is selling GLP-1s. They're compound GLP-1s out of her practice. She told me that because I'm choosing not to spend $1,000 a month at her practice, that she would have to charge me the visit, which I really didn't like. I obviously understand like doctors have to make money and stuff like that, but like really the only thing that I needed from her was obviously like filling out my pre-authorization form and signing the script. When I had called my insurance company about which medications were my options, I also had them send over the pre-authorization form preemptively to my doctor prior to my weight loss consultation so that way she would already have it. Once I told her like which medication I would want and she told me she was going to charge me the visit, what happened then was they fill out the script they send it over to the pharmacy. The pharmacy and the insurance company will both request the pre-authorization. Normally the pre-authorization period takes about 48 hours. You can call like the pharmacy, you can call the insurance company and see where it's at. For my specific insurance company, it was a pretty quick turnaround. I was also assigned a caseworker for my, I guess like my weight loss program, which was really cool. They told me like what my copay would be, which was $25. And then my caseworker actually found me a coupon that actually like makes my medication free, which is really good. So I went ahead and I did that. The one thing I will say is obviously like people are talking about shortages everywhere. And I wanna acknowledge that obviously there is a shortage, but like, Let's not confuse the two things. There's a shortage with the pens like that you use to inject. There's not a shortage with medication. There is a shortage with the pens. So they have promised that like there will obviously be a better supply towards the end of the year, but obviously like that doesn't help like the situation now, right? So what I did and like me and Lou actually did this was like we just called a bunch of pharmacies and like asked them if they had the medication or when they anticipated having stock. I spoke to a pharmacist at my job about it. We don't carry the medication at my job, but I asked her like, when do you feel like is the best time to call about it? And she told me that towards the end of the month is usually the best time because that's usually when pharmacies are getting their supplies in. So that would be my recommendation for you. And just be nice to the pharmacist, like ask them how they're doing, ask them how their day is going. And that seemed to help me. I was able to get my prescription filled, I think in less than a week. I'm not saying that it's like that everywhere, but like I said, I think just establishing like connection with the pharmacist and just asking that question helped me. And yeah, I got the medication within a week. Keep the medication in your fridge. And yeah, those are my recommendations. And like I said, just make sure that you're prepared prior to taking the injection. Like make sure you have like the proper nutrients and like proteins and all those things in your house prior to taking the medication. And I think you'll be good. Like I said, like this is just my experience with getting the medication. 
So hopefully it helps you guys out. I know it's not like any kind of like crazy life hack or anything like that, but really, like I said, just calling around and asking is like literally like the best thing that you can do. And that worked for me. So I hope that my next dosage is as easy to get as this one was. Yeah, that would be my recommendation for you guys. Let's get on with the rest of the video. A few moments later. We're in Lou's game room because I've actually been storing my Wigobi in his game room fridge. And you guys haven't really seen this room yet, but I'll have to show it to you guys later because we've been slowly like adding more stuff to the house. You're supposed to keep your GLP ones in the fridge. So that's the reason why I have them up here because I felt kind of weird having it like in my food fridge. Each 0.5 ml of Wagovi contains 0.25 milligrams of semaglutide followed by the inactive ingredients. Use as recommended by your healthcare professional, recommended dosage, see prescribing information. Write the day of the week you choose to ingest. And mine is gonna be Sunday. It comes like this, so I will be just taking one out because you're supposed to like let it get room temperature. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna leave the directions out for Lou because I'm sure he's gonna wanna see them because he'll actually be the one injecting me. And I think I said this already, but it's so funny that I'm wearing a fluffy mania shirt like as I'm gonna get injected today. I'm really nervous and I don't know why I'm so nervous. I'm just praying that like I don't have like really bad side effects. I feel like I've tried to prepare as much as I can for this and I've done like lots and lots of research. I've spoken to so many of my friends about like semi-glutides so yeah i'm praying that this goes well and that i have really nice results yeah so i'm very excited but i'm very nervous so anyway we're gonna leave this puppy out until lou's ready to give me the shot and then we'll come back and you guys will be able to see me get my first shot this little thing right here i have one thing to say you better work bitch so anyway <laughs> I'm praying that it works and I'm sorry if you guys are tired of all my jokes. That is like my coping mechanism for when I'm very nervous about things. So yeah, laughter is the best medicine. So I'm sure that it's going to be a great first week and that, yeah, it's going to be good. Are you nervous? No. Right here? Yeah. So I'm gonna remove it and then do it. There we go. There you go. Oh, I felt it. Okay. Today is like my first day like after the shot. So it's like within the first 12 hours since I've had my Wigobi shots. I'm not feeling terrible or anything, which is good. I do feel like a little bit queasy, but it's like nothing that's intolerable. That's it, I don't feel like anything else. I will say the only other thing that like I knew and I was expecting to feel was that like, there's no food noise. So I haven't like thought about food or anything like that today yet. I've been like planning what I'm gonna eat because I was home this morning slash early afternoon. So I've been trying to plan like, you know, I'm gonna have this at this time because I'm not gonna be thinking about food. So I still wanna make sure that I am on a good schedule. So I'm just uh, going in with my Alani New pre-workout. Best flavor ever is the Hawaiian shaved ice. I said what I said. So I'm just making my pre-workout because I am going to the gym this morning. I am still working. So what I usually do is like, I'll still answer emails and like, 
messages on teams or like quick things that I can do. And sometimes like I'll take this time as like my lunch time, but I do have like a lot of stuff going on this morning. So I'm not gonna take my lunch hour <laughs> quite yet. The other thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some greens before I go. These are the blue ones. I know they're super basic. And then I also have my vital proteins, collagen peptides, which I'm gonna take like later today. But those are just some of like my supplements. Like I take other things too that you'll see me take in this video, but I'm just like prepping. And I know that like there's controversial things that people say about greens. And I know that like, you know, the fitness world goes through phases where like people feel like certain things are just like trends or whatever. I do feel like I was a little bit ahead of that trend though back in 2020 because my trainer at the time like did tell us to take greens and I do feel like they helped. So especially now more than ever, since I am on GLP ones, like just to keep things moving, you guys catch my drift. I feel like it's super important. So these actually don't really taste that bad. So I'm gonna have this really quick and then I'm gonna have all my vitamins and then we'll go from there. Not bad. This is the next thing in my lineup. So I have the Mary Roots Liquid Multivitamin Essentials. These actually don't really even taste like vitamins. I actually started taking them because I've had a vitamin deficiency for vitamin D for a really long time, which is genetic. My mom also has it. I'm not surprised about this because women of color typically have vitamin D deficiencies more often than not. And osteoporosis does run in my family. So I obviously like need to stay ahead of it. So another reason too was because like I had seen a few gray hairs and I knew that I was starting to like gray very prematurely and i read online that if you take certain vitamins you can actually reverse gray hairs and i am living proof of that it started happening to me like there's some strands of my hair that are gray but then like the root of them is like my dark natural hair color so it's all about like your supplements and your vitamins and all that stuff. So just incorporating these things into like my day to day has really been helping with like my energy and like my sleep and all those things. So we'll see like how my labs come back when I take them again in a few months. And I think that I'm gonna come back like way better than what I came back as the first time. And this is easy. It's just two tablespoons. I actually like really look forward to it and that's it no horse pills here so that's that the other one that I take is just these they're Vitafusion they're vitamin d3s it has 2000 IU per serving obviously since I'm deficient this is very important and I do feel like these give me energy throughout the day because as soon as I became deficient in vitamin D I noticed like my energy levels start to drop so taking these has been super helpful too and they're gummy so they're not like terrible obviously there's better ones to take out there but I'm just trying to get like a fun routine and this is that routine <laughs> Now we're gonna go to the gym. <laughs> just finished at the gym i am feeling a little bit queasy so i need attempts today this week is probably going to be not actually sponsored but like sponsored by tums because oh i was so queasy in there it is like two o'clock i am multitasking I'm feeling tired. I'm not feeling queasy anymore, so that like went away once I ate something, but I definitely do feel tired. 
hello, happy Tuesday. I'm very nauseous today. I have lots of food aversion today, but I'm still gonna force myself to eat. I have a turkey, bacon, and egg on half a piece of sourdough bread. Lou has the same variation, but with cheese. Yeah, I've been taking Tums, which has been helping, but that's my update for right now. It's Wednesday, my dudes. Please tell me you know that fine, because if you don't, like, I just did that whole thing for no reason. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Today was my ab day, so I typically do that at home, and I really need to wash my hair, like, badly. But I do need to oil my hair because, well, I need to oil my scalp because with weight loss and stuff like that, there could be hair loss. I have been oiling my scalp anyway because I do like really want to continue to grow my hair longer. It's not really a self-care day because I'm still working. I need to oil my scalp for at least an hour and then I'll hop in the shower and wash my hair. And yeah, I did abs today. I am still feeling like a little bit fatigued. You know, there's no food noise, which is really good. The one thing I will say was yesterday I was super nauseous. Today, I am not. And like the nausea was like pretty manageable. Like I just took some Tums. I know that there are people that take like prescribed medication to like prevent nausea, which you could do too. Just ask your physician about it. But yeah, that's kind of in my progress. Yeah, nothing crazy. I had breakfast today already, which was like protein cereal. I'll have to like show it to you guys so you guys can see it. And I had a cutie and yeah, I'll have lunch in a little bit, which will be like my leftover tropical smoothie wrap and my smoothie. But that's kind of what's been going on today. Nothing's too bad. Like I said, I just kind of like forget about eating. Like I obviously get full faster, but I haven't had a hard time eating, which is really nice. And yeah, that's kind of the tea. As of right now, everything is going well. I will show you guys my lunch in a little bit. So I'm having the rest of my smoothie and I also had a half of a chicken Caesar wrap. I had some chips. I didn't eat all of them because honestly, like I was starting to get a little bit nauseous. So I just took a Tums and like I was getting really tired. But anyway, that's how today is going. I feel like there is definitely room for me to hydrate more today. So. We have a little guest. We went to Target. I got these prime hydration drinks because I hear that they're really good for you and they have electrolytes, which I probably need. So we're gonna try them out. Let us see. It really does smell like strawberries and vanilla. That's pretty bizarre. That's pretty good. It also has well, some other like notable things that it has. It has 10% coconut water, B vitamins, which I definitely need, antioxidants, and 835 milligrams of electrolytes. So, Chico approves. <laughs> but yeah, it tastes tropical. It tastes like I'm on a beach. Go Rangers! Woo! What are you giving me? Um, frozen yogurt with granola. And Lou made it. But anyway, this is like a quick way to get some protein. Taste test. Pretty good, right? Good. We've got the pastry puffs from Trader Joe's and the waffle fries. But for some reason today they kind of taste spicy. No, I'm not gonna eat everything on my plate. Thankfully, Lou will <laughs> eat whatever is left over. But happy Thursday! First order of business. I will say I've been able to go, but like it's 
it's not as easy as it has been for me in the past. So anyway, prune. These aren't bad. Today, I'm feeling pretty okay, which is good. I am gonna eat breakfast when I come back from the gym. So I'm gonna eat an orange beforehand, or like on my way, but anyway. I'm gonna have like my vitamins, and then we can head out of here. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but the good news is that I am feeling pretty much like myself today. Still a little bit tired, but thankfully like, I mean, knock on wood today so far, but no nausea. I think like having a little fruit in between a meal has been helping me. It could literally probably even be anything, right? It could be like any other kind of snack. I've been having like protein bars too, which I feel like help. I really, really liked that prime hydration drink that I had yesterday. Tasted like I was having juice. It's only 25 calories, but it does have like a ton of nutrients that I need. And like a big thing when I did my research about like semi-glutides was that like you need to have electrolytes. So I really liked it. Um, definitely worth the try. I know some people don't really like the founder of the company, but I liked it. I had no like bad thoughts about it, but I'm probably biased because I do really like coconut water. So I'm on my way now to the gym. Obviously, as you can see, it's like very cloudy today. Hopefully legs goes quick today. It's like just as soon as you're starting to recover from leg day, like you have another leg day. <laughs> Lou made the breakfast sandwiches today. This is what they look like. And then I also have this, but honestly, it tastes awful. So I don't know if the other flavor will be better, but that one is not good. Sorry. Don't mind me, I'm backing out of a parking spot. We should chat though. We are leaving Disney Springs because we had a double date with my boss and his wife and obviously Lou because I don't get to see like my co-workers too often like we're all pretty spread out since we're like a remote first team and so this was my first restaurant since starting my GLP-1 medication and it's actually so funny because I told my boss, I was like, oh, like, by the way, I'm not gonna be able to eat a lot because I just started, like, my semi-glutide medication. And him and his wife were like, oh, that's so funny. Our daughter's been on semi-glutides for, like, a month. So it's really cool to hear, like, all these people that, like, are doing it and, like, have access to the drug and, like, have seen results. I did order a drink because I don't get to drink with a lot of my coworkers. <laughs> if you guys know, you know. But anyway, like I felt like we deserved a drink. And I got an Aperol Spritz because it was feeling like summer outside. And let me tell you something, guys. Like, I got drunk maybe like five sips in. Like not drunk, but like tipsy, you know? And it's because obviously like you have slower digestion. So I couldn't even finish my drink at all like obviously like i knew that i wasn't going to be able to eat a lot so lou and i did share a meal we went to summer house on the lake for context i'll try to insert like a picture of like the pizza it won't be my picture it'll just be something that i find online and it was like what like a 14 inch pizza yeah yeah it was like a 14 inch pizza for context we just did like a margarita pizza and like i literally only ate two slices like i could not like eat anything else it's obviously like hard, but like, it's fine. Like I'm in this for the long haul. And then we did get like a little dessert. It wasn't little, it was a big dessert. And it was like, well, I think I maybe had like two bites of the dessert and I was done. Yeah. Yeah, I did start to feel a little bit nauseous towards the end. Cause obviously like I was like in a social environment. So I was like trying to force myself to eat. 
Yeah, like I just took a Tums and now I'm feeling okay. Blue does that very often, I'll drink my water. Yeah, what did you think? About the food? Yeah. It was good food. It was pretty good, I would definitely recommend it. I didn't get to see the bill because my boss was very gracious and paid for it. I did read online that some people feel like it was expensive. So the prices weren't that bad. Yeah, I don't they know, it's crazy, like a tourist but, thing yeah. too. I'm sure that they get like a lot of people that are like tourists, but anyway, I didn't want to like vlog in there because like I was with my boss and his wife and I didn't know how they felt, but that was my experience at my first restaurant out. Happy Friday, I'm sorry that this is not the most flattering view of me. But I did just want to come on here and say, holy crap, you guys really like showed up and showed out for my first video. Like I already have a thousand views in less than two days, which is pretty bizarre to think like a thousand people looked at my video. That's crazy. I've gotten more before, but it's still pretty bizarre to think that it's reached that many people in so little time. So today I am feeling just a little bit nauseous, but I haven't eaten yet. I do have my little clementine that I'm gonna eat before the gym. I am going to the gym during my lunch time. That's usually when I go to the gym. I'm gonna eat my little clementine and then come back and like have breakfast. I forgot to take my vitamins today in like the midst of how excited I was about like all the YouTube viewers so that's that another thing that I noticed today was this particular shirt that I have on fit me a little loose which is nice so I'm excited about my weigh-in in two days like I said my goal is not to lose weight quick like I want to lose weight at like a very slow and steady pace so I'm excited Don't mind my hair, I haven't brushed it today. But anyway, I will show you guys what I ate. I did have breakfast today. I just had like a protein cereal and um, like a protein shake. I will show you guys what I'm eating for lunch. Okay, so this is teriyaki chicken with some corn and just some white rice. Nothing crazy. I still do need to take my greens today and my vitamins. I haven't done that yet. And my collagen, but I'm feeling hungry, which is good. Hello, happy Saturday. So today I'm on my way to the beach with my friends. Lou unfortunately has to work, which is annoying. He did try to get off, but all his like coworkers were being weenies and <laughs> didn't want to pick up his shift. So he's off to work and I'm going to the beach. I am having a little protein yogurt with a little sprinkle of protein granola in there. I also did pack another little cutie for myself and then I also have a protein coffee so hopefully that'll like be fine for right now I did like figure it would be better to like load myself up on protein because I'm probably gonna miss my lunch window today I have snacks and stuff but they're not the healthiest so yeah I just got back from the beach. We had a really nice time. I'm sorry that I didn't record at the beach. Truth be told, like I wanted to just be present with my friends because we usually maybe get to see each other like once a month. So we were just catching up and stuff. And so I really was like so disconnected from my phone and all that. But before tomorrow, which is gonna be my weigh in, I kind of wanted to talk about just like things that I felt like went well for me supplements that i felt like helped me like what helped what didn't help those kinds of things just so that way you guys kind of have like a good weekly recap last sunday i obviously injected monday i felt pretty okay i would say my worst day was probably tuesday the biggest things obviously that like i felt was like nausea i did feel like 
a little bit of, and I still feel it like pretty much every day, like just like a little bit of like acid reflux. Nothing that's like not manageable with like a Tums, if I'm being quite honest with you. I know that some people do get like a prescription to curb the nausea, but I don't really feel like I need that quite yet. So I'm still like fine as of right now with Tums. Another thing that I noticed was that like, I'll get nauseous if it's been like a little bit too long since I've eaten. So what I've tried to do is like, eat like maybe five or six times a day obviously like very small quantities but like doing that i feel like also has helped curve my nausea so normally like how my day will go i think you guys saw it like on my monday but normally i'll start off that day with just my multivitamin and then my vitamin d and then i will have like my pre-workout because for my lunch i do go to the gym and then like I'll eat and then like work. So it's normally like how I'm able to schedule like my gym in between like my work day. So that's what's been helping me. I will say that I've been doing like fasted workouts for maybe like a month and I really like that, but you can't do a fasted workout like on this, at least in the morning, I don't know. So what's been helping me for that is that like I'll just have like a little cutie or like a little piece of fruit or something before I go to the gym and that helps. I have like tried this week to like eat before I go to the gym, but it just makes me feel like very sloshy and I really don't like that. And I think that I just like historically, I've never liked that. Like even like growing up as like a kid that was going to dance class on Saturdays, like my mom would give me like a bagel and a Nesquik and like I'd eat the bagel and then like the Nesquik I'd hold on to and drink it periodically. So yeah, like I've just always been like a light eating person before I'm gonna do any kind of physical activity. I felt like that when I was working out and I didn't like it. So yeah, like a little small piece of fruit or something helped me a ton. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I do have like a little like bag that's like on my Stanley cup. And I just keep like a couple of extra Tums in there in case I get like motion sickness, but I haven't like had that be a problem yet. Like I think I had to reach for my emergency Tums at the gym like once this week and that was fine. But yeah, I really, really like my pre-workout, which is Alani New. I don't feel like it makes me feel itchy. Some people do feel that way. I did feel that way towards the beginning, but you get used to it. So yeah, I'll like either put pictures of them so you guys can see what I'm using. And then I'll also like link everything down like in my description in case you guys wanna buy it. Like I don't get paid for it. And I'm not like saying like, oh, like you have to absolutely like buy the things I'm using. I'll just let you know like what I like, what I don't like. And it's up to you if you guys choose to buy it or not. And then I'll usually come back. I've really been liking the Fairlife proteins specifically in the flavor vanilla. I tried the chocolate this week and I didn't like it. But what I've been doing too for like a breakfast is like I'll have a protein cereal and then I'll add like the protein shake in the cereal and then just finish the protein shake. And that's been like a really good and like just quick breakfast. I feel like it's pretty protein dense, which is good. I can definitely probably I think eat like more fruit in that but that's been a good one i've been doing like a bacon and an egg on uh, sourdough and that's been really fun too and then i'll also usually take my greens and my collagen peptides at like midday and it might be vital proteins collagen peptides and then for the greens i'm taking bloom nutrition there are like a lot of like mix things about Bloom Nutrition, specifically about like their formulation being proprietary blends. So I would recommend you doing your research on that. I'm not saying that like they are by far the most nutrient dense greens, but I am saying that like of other greens that I've tried in the past, these just taste a little better. I don't know exactly like how healthy these are or if they're any different from anything else that's on the market. Like I said, there's lots of like controversy about like people taking greens in the first place but that's like what i've been taking throughout the day supplement wise another thing that's obviously really important is fiber like i cannot stress that enough fiber is really important and i have been taking a pre and probiotic consistently like even before i started this medication 
that helps obviously like definitely stock up on like stool softener if you need it another thing that helps me is prunes so i have those like in the fridge already and then like another thing that i'll say is like i obviously wasn't like really having like any kind of like food noise or anything like that so for me like i didn't really crave like fast food or anything like that which is really nice like i don't know not that i don't like crave like a burger or anything but like i love chick-fil-a and usually i'll get it like once a week and i didn't have that urge this week so it gives me the ability to make healthy choices which i really liked but yeah i did obviously like go out to eat at the restaurant with my boss like i said another thing that i noticed too is like you obviously like can drink it's really not recommended, but like you could, it's just that like, to be quite honest, like you'll get pretty compromised, like pretty quickly. I couldn't even finish my whole drink. Today at the beach, the same thing. I couldn't finish my whole drink because like I could not like get myself to be in a compromised state. So yeah, that's the reality of that. Some people like don't recommend it at all. I think if you want to do it, obviously like, you know, do things in moderation. I only had like a drink like socially and I didn't even finish it like in both occasions. So, and just like hydrate, that's like the best advice that I can also give you. For me, I was feeling really tired, but what I have found that has been working for me is like adding electrolytes in there. I know people have like their opinions about Jake Paul and like those are totally valid, but I will say I did try the Prime Nutrition Hydration Waters this week, as you guys saw. I've only tried the strawberry banana flavor. I really liked them. You know, they did have electrolytes in there. There's a ton of other nutrients in there too. And there's like 10% coconut water. And I honestly have to say that like after drinking a few of them, I really do feel like pretty hydrated, like more so than like obviously just having water, right? So I really like those. I think that I'm definitely gonna keep those in the rotation. But one thing that I'm definitely not keeping in the rotation are like those protein H2O ones. The important thing about like when you're starting semi-glutides, GLP ones, those kinds of things, is like making sure that like you have a very like protein focused diet. And so sometimes like I don't really want something like creamy or milky. And so I tried these because I don't know, I saw them on TikTok and I thought that they would be good. I personally don't feel like they were that good if I'm being quite honest. Like they have a pretty good front taste, but then like the aftertaste is absolutely horrible. It tastes dry, it tastes chemically. Like I did not like those at all. Another thing that I will say is like, although you're not thinking about food, like I would suggest having a plan on what you're gonna eat and setting alarms throughout the day, like for your meal times. So that way, like you don't forget to eat, but also so that way, like you have a plan on like what you're gonna eat, because like, if you're not thinking about food, like you'll completely go the whole day without eating. So like just making sure that like you're eating and like, even if it's a little bit is like very important. The other thing that I will say is that like, I don't have a craving for like really like anything sweet anymore. It's not like a bad thing or like necessarily a good thing. It's just like a thing that's been happening. And then those are like the things that I've been doing this week. I can definitely like add even more protein, I think. Towards the end of the week, I feel like I was starting to feel more like myself because I was feeling like super drowsy too. And obviously like that's a sign that like you need to eat something or like have something that like has sugar in it or electrolytes. So I did start to feel more like myself towards the end and start to eat a little bit more like Yesterday I felt pretty normal and then today I felt pretty normal and I'm sure tomorrow like prior to having my injection I'll feel normal. Biggest piece of advice that I can give on injection day is like make sure you have a big meal before, not a big meal, but like make sure you have like a nice hearty meal before you have your injection. I think it helps curb the nausea, at least that's what I've read online. Like I had like a nice portion of a burrito last week before i had my injection and i didn't feel like any crazy nausea which was good so i will probably do the same thing again and then another thing too is like if you're not like cooking for every meal or like making things from scratch i should say for every meal like having like proteins like on hand that are like maybe already cooked so that way like you can just heat them up and then like add them to like whatever complex carb you're choosing and like whatever vegetable that you're choosing, I feel like helped me a ton. Like we got a couple different options from Trader Joe's this week. I really, really liked that chicken teriyaki. That was like off the chain. I've had the orange chicken too, and that one's pretty good too. I don't think it's as like nutrient dense as like, 
I feel like the chicken teriyaki one is. I'm sure they probably both have like obscene amounts of sugar, but like I'm trying not to think about that. But yeah, so those are, I would say my recommends. And like I said, I'll link all the things that like I use. I'm not getting paid for it, but if you wanna use them, cool. If you don't, then cool, use something else. If there is another brand that you like, that's cool too. I do wanna try to start filming these a little bit better. Did get like an extra tripod for my phone, but ideally I would love to film them on my camera. I just, I don't know. I'm not feeling like confident yet about filming on my camera, like out in public, like let's say like the gym or something, but I need to like make a better habit of doing that. I'm excited about my weigh-in tomorrow. I haven't been on the scale since like literally injection day, like right before I got my injection, which you guys saw at the beginning of this video. I don't know. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? God damn it. What do you want? I don't know if I'm going to do like my results in this one or if I'm going to do my results in the next one. I feel like I kind of like the weigh in at the beginning of the video. So maybe I'll just like hold off on the results until the next one. I will say, like I said, aside from that, like I'm feeling pretty good. Nothing like that's not manageable, if that makes sense. And then like today when we were at the beach, obviously like that in itself is a very big like exercise for me. Like while I'm going through this journey, I did have a friend of mine who told me like, oh, like I can see like some changes in your body. Like that's really cool. And that made me feel good. Although like I can't see the changes because I have like severe body dysmorphia. So that made me really happy to hear. And and yeah, like nothing crazy. I'm really looking forward to seeing like what next week brings now that like I kind of can anticipate what symptoms I'm having. It's really nice because like I feel like this week I'll be able to manage it better. I had a really great first week. And like the final thing that I just wanna say is that everyone has been, or at least like the people that have reached out to me have been super supportive. So thank you guys so much for making the last video blow up because I was not expecting that response. Like I know that it's like a hot topic, but I don't know. I just wasn't expecting for so many people to view my video in so little time. So thank you guys so much for all your love and support. Like both people that I don't know that are just like online friends now and like people like in my real life, especially Lou. Lou has been so supportive. Like I knew he would be, he loves me in like any size, but like, I think I say it pretty often. Like one of the best qualities about Lou is like the way that he supports me. And I'm so grateful to have him in my life. And he's been like monumental in like helping this feel manageable and like helping to keep me sane. So I'm just really grateful that I have like such a loving and like sweet fiance. If I don't post my results in this one, I promise it's not because I don't want to. It's because I just feel like, I don't know, I have to give you guys like something to come back for in the next video, right? Like I think my filming day for my weeks should be Sunday through Saturday. I just feel like it's probably better that way. You guys will be like uh, somewhat like a week behind, which will be fine because then this means that like I have a few days to edit. <laughs> so I don't know, I haven't decided, but don't hate me if I don't put the results in here. I promise that they will be worth it. Like I said, I'm starting to feel a little bit different. I don't like see that stuff, but like the feeling is there and I just feel hopeful and super grateful. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and keep leaving your questions. I will try to answer them as best as I can. And if you guys are new here, welcome to the family. And if you guys are not new here, then thank you for your continued support. And I will see you in the next one. Okay, bye.